Hi, this is the second part of using um, Malwarebytes anti-malware program to remove viruses and spyware. So in the first part we found the file, downloaded it, copied it to our hard drive, ran the installation, updated it, and we started the scan. So here's the end results of the scan. So in my situation, the scanning completed successfully. That's indicated right here. The number of objects scanned and this red part, yeah, you're supposed to watch that, the objects infected. So there was one uh, infected item on my computer and I'm actually glad there was because now I can uh, show you the results. Um, the time elapsed was 41 minutes. Now, in, in order for me to kind of get this scan um, completed and show you guys, I aborted the scan. So I aborted the scan, I stopped it, but I still had the chance to remove the infections. Normally you'll never do that. You'll let the scan go to the very end and what do you'll see? You'll see this window. So what's our next step? We should click on show results and there we see, aha, there's the infection. Now, at this point, you can highlight it and you can see that no action has been taken. Why? Because they want you to click here to remove, here to ignore. So if this is something you actually want to keep, you click ignore. You can obviously exit at any time. If you want to remove selected, you click that and see the status bar down here? It's going through removing and it's saying all selected items removed successfully. A log file was saved to the logs folder. Your computer needs to be restarted to complete the removal process. Would you like to continue? So we say yes. There's the results of the scan. The computer is going to reboot. The viruses and spyware will be removed upon the next reboot. Now, if you have a major virus and spyware problem, I recommend you repeat this process. You do the full scan, remove everything, reboot, do the full scan, remove everything, reboot. Repeat that process until the Malwarebytes program finds no infections. That's not saying that it's 100% sure that you're not going to have infections that are kind of hidden um, if it's a really bad infection, but what it is saying is you're doing the best you can. So hopefully this will help you uh, to use Malwarebytes and resolve your issues. Thanks.